Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The first F-2 has arrived in the U.S. Strata launch shifts focus to hypersonic testing and Pipistrel partners in Artem Project. I'm Sophie Herlock. In light of the issues affecting both the aviation world and the world around us, we here at Aero News are adjusting our schedules for the time being. In order to keep everyone safe, economize resources, and ensure we're delivering the quality of news our audience expects from us. Airborne will now be webcast three times per week, with Airborne Unlimited airing twice a week, and alternating episodes of our new Airborne Flight Training Program and Airborne Amand. We are also currently in the development of an Airborne Avionics Special News Program. Moving on to today's news, after rerouting from the cancelled Sun and Fun Air Show, the first F-2 LSA has arrived at Flight Design USA headquarters in Connecticut. The F-2 has completed ASTM and US LSA compliance testing, and serial production has started. F-2 is an EOS CS-23 certified aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight of 650 kilograms, or if flown as an SLSA or ultralight, 600 kilograms maximum takeoff weight. A notable feature is the extra large cabin, which has been designed for increased rigidity and utilizes a combination of dynamically tested passenger seats, panel-mounted AM safe airbags, and an airframe emergency parachute system. Boasting a 34.3 gallon fuel capacity, the F-2's range is as much as 1,000 nautical miles with full fuel, and a 30-minute reserve. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 136 knots true airspeed, at 5,800 RPM at 7,500 feet, with a cruise of 126 knots true airspeed, at 75% power at 7,500 feet. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. All high school junior and senior students across Florida and Arizona are being offered a slate of free for credit online courses through Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Embry-Riddle has expanded its free course offerings to include aeronautics pathway, aviation legislation, introduction to computers and applications, foundations of biology, history of aviation in America, meteorology, and introduction to sociology. No previous college education is needed to take the courses. The Orion spacecraft that will fly the Artemis 1 mission around the moon has returned to NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida after finishing space environment tests. The spacecraft, including ESA's European Service Module, is now at its final destination before launch. Orion spent four months at NASA's Plum Brook Station, where it was subjected to the vacuum and temperatures of negative 175 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius. It will experience on its flight to the moon. Boeing is temporarily suspending production operations at its facilities in Ridley Township, Pennsylvania, due to the spread of COVID-19 in the area. The site includes manufacturing and production facilities for military rotorcraft, including the H-47 Chinook, V-22 Osprey, and the MH-139A Gray Wolf. Defense and commercial services work and engineering design activities are also performed at the site. Airbus may be preparing for a cut in production of its A320 airliners by as much as half or up to two quarters due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Suppliers have been asked to cut their shipments of parts by 40%, which would accommodate production of about 36 jets per month. Currently, Airbus produces about 60 A320s per month. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Strata Launch is now shifting its focus to hypersonic test beds carried aloft by its purpose-built aircraft. 
The Strata Launch aircraft had originally been built for horizontal launch satellite missions, carrying a rocket to altitude which would then boost its payload into orbit. But the company was sold last year, after the death of its founder Paul Allen, and is now relaunched with an updated website explaining its new mission. The company is developing three hypersonic testbed aircraft, ranging from the Talon A, which is 28 feet long with an 11.3 foot wingspan, to the Black Ice, a fully reusable space plane that enables advanced on-orbit capabilities and cargo return. Initial designs are optimized for cargo launch, with a follow-on variant capable of transporting crew. Pipistrel is now a project partner in the Artem Project, a four-year European Union Horizon 2020 research project devoted to the development of novel noise reduction technologies for low noise 2035 and 2050 aircraft configurations. Last week, members of Pipistrel Vertical Solutions Research returned from a week-long wind tunnel testing in Incas Bucharest. The team was performing tests on a composite design model wing, with modular attachment points for different distributed electrical propulsion configurations, designed and built by PVS within the Artem European project. The mock-up is composed out of the main wing and three propellers positioned in front of the wing, resulting in the tractor configuration, or on top of the wing resulting in the pusher configuration. At the end of the project, PVS will select the most favorable configuration with respect to the acoustic and aerodynamic performance. And that wraps up today's Airborne Unlimited. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. For more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you Wednesday for an episode of Airborne Flight Training.